We're gonna lock this guy away for a long time. Okay, uh... He had some pretty interesting stuff to say. And... Some of that kind of applies to real life. I mean, not necessarily the whole Illuminati thing, which I actually... Okay, I'm gonna admit it, I do kind of believe in the Illuminati. But at the same time, you know, I, I can live my own life regardless. So... I choose to believe in them, but I'm not gonna let it affect my life. Regardless of whether or not they think they have control over me. But... Something else to note. Um... What a lot of people believe, actually, was um, let me get my, my <laughs> let me get my thoughts in order. I specifically want to talk about the Boston. Was it Boston or I think it was Boston? Somewhere where that young kid was um, killed. However many people, I'm pretty sure it was Boston, and they had a. Uh, and they had a lockdown where basically people were not allowed to go out of their homes and I think the reason and I think the law used was martial law or something like that people would be it was either to secure quote unquote secure people or they would be shot on sight I don't remember exactly what what was done what the reasoning behind it was just so that people would stay inside their houses and not be shot by the quote unquote terrorist and some people believe that it was um, done in order for people to be safe but others believe it was a test to see whether or not people would listen to the powers that be And I'm, I'm talking more about the local powers, not necessarily the super secret powers way up above that no one really either knows or cares about. And where the heck am I going? I'm just going around in circles here. But, um... Yeah. And... So, some interesting theories there, and... In regards to what the guy was saying here... That kind of applies, if you think about it. Because, how were, uh, like, 20 years ago? That wouldn't have happened. People would have gone on with their lives. Oh, there's a terrorist. Whatever. But after 9-11, everyone's just so freaking paranoid. And it seems to me that the government is feeding on that. They're feeding on that fear. And I'm not even gonna go. I'm not even gonna start on whether or not I think 9/11 was an inside job or whether it was an actual terrorist attack. Because honestly, I don't know, and I really don't care. I mean, I do feel sorry for all the people that lost folks in that in those two in the uh, World Trade Centers, but it's past. What's happened has happened. You know, get on with your life. And I know how hard that is because I've had to go through some stuff like that too. Not necessarily losing my person, not lo bleh, not necessarily losing a loved one in an attack like that. But I've had some hard times. So you know, you all you have to keep it in perspective. I mean. Do we really want to stay inside our homes just because there's one teenager running around with a gun? Do we really want to do that? And from what I heard, they weren't even entirely sure that it was the person that they suspected. So, I, I just don't know. So yeah, my whole point is... We are actually experiencing some of what the guy was talking about earlier. And at the same time, you know, do I really care about this? Am I going to let it rule my life? Or am I going to keep living on? And I'm going to keep living on. That's just how I'm going to do it. 
And if I get shot, so be it. If I don't, well, I get to experience some more of life. So, just keep that in mind, you know? Are you going to let fear rule your life, or are you Got going to let it... Secured. How did things look in the statue? Or are you going to let it... The leader surrendered. Thing, so. so they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the East Coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know Unatco handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderly will brief us shortly. Unatco makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Yeah, well, pace yourself. You killed a lot of people tonight. I'll handle things out here. You better get to Manderley's office on level two and report for duty. So, apparently we killed a lot more people than I was planning to, which is not exactly what I wanted to do, but it there ended up go, happening sir. anyway. I thought Gunther was a goner. Well, you're welcome. I don't understand. What are you doing? I'm taking your food. That's what I'm doing. Zero four five one. Okay. Uh, let's have some foods. My character just burped. Get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office. Oh hush. I know you're my brother and all, but I really don't go, care right sir. now. Thank you. Ah, what? That was random. You know what? I don't. I still don't know the password to that. But I should know the password. Nope, maybe not. <laughs> Gunther should have followed orders. Rare. Heard you clean the place out. They cross the line by going into the statue. That's exactly right. We're already gearing up to hunt these sons of bitches door to door in Manhattan. Need some hardware? I scored an extra scope from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up 10 millimeter ammo and some crossbow darts. Say, 200 for one and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Carter? He don't care. NSF goods are the spoils of war. We're risking our lives out here. I'll check back with you later. How much tranquilizer or dart ammo do I have anyway? I have 17 rounds. I'll go ahead and give Glad him you're the 60. Around to our way of doing things. Need some hardware? Here's 60. Here's 60 for the tranquilizer darts. So much for that minimum force approach. Get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office. Don't know what he meant there, but okay. They sent us in to pick up the pieces. We've already searched the bodies and delivered the enemy munitions to the quartermaster. Yep, you may have done that, but I know one thing that you didn't do. You didn't open up this thing. What have we got here? A credit chip? And 3006 ammo. Nice. Not a bad find. So how many credits do we have now? 490? Eh, whatever. So yeah, that was my little splurge on conspiracy. If I don't know the truth, I'm just going to drop it and move on with my life. I'll meet you in Manderley's office. Oh, hush, Paul. Jeez, you're so annoying. It's my first day, too. I'm pretty excited. Good for you, Private Lloyd. Yay! Private Lloyd. Okay, wasn't there something about the security and passcode? Who's this? Check in with Manderley on level two. Okay. Saving and loading. Whoops. Not what I meant to do. My bad. Drink some water. That's an interesting 
animation. And it's out of water. The retinal scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. How oh, lovely. God, I love the music to this game. Remember that Mr. Manderley wants to see you. Level 2. His secretary, Janice Reed, has your login and password. Thank you, Alex Hell Jacobson. Of a first day. No kidding. We finally got to cap some rebels, eh, Denton? Eh, uh, yeah, I guess. There is a gas grenade and something else in there. What is that? No idea. Whoops. <laughs> I don't want to be using that. Okay, that looks like a lockpick. But I'm not seeing anything else of value in there. It would only take one pick, though. Anyone looking? No? Uh, I'll go for it. Alright, no one saw that. Awesome. give you your login? I guess not. Let's see. JCD, password, bionic man. Oops. <laughs> What's going on in here? Your partner for the next assignment, Anna Navara, is in the adjoining break room to the east. Maybe you should introduce yourself. JC. Mind if I call you JC? That's fine. Is everyone else going to call me that anyway? Whoa, what is this? This looks like the plans for... Invading the statue. Alright, so our partner to be Anna Navarre is in here. Are you sure you pressed the right button? I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. <laughs> My new partner, J.C. Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. My vision is augmented. Better to look good than to have the distractions of another agent who needs backup. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. For instance, not to be a man running into enemy lines without coordinated military assault. No problem. You will be working with Anna Navarre. I am not going to hold your hand. You have your orders. Okay. Figures I got orange, I think. have some food and some drinks. Oh, we have some bulletins to read. Uh, I guess I'll read them. So, terrorism, crime or conscience? The question must be asked. Is the global rise of terrorism a haphazard response to a decimated economy, or is there a pattern? Does UNATCO face coordinated ideological opposition? Some groups, Silhouette in France, for instance, have declared a meme war or war of meanings in their terminology. They spread email and pamphlets that lampoon the UN's proposal for a one-world democracy, a tedious exercise in rudimentary propaganda. With sophistries and doublespeak, they portray freedom as obedience, democracy as tyranny, 
and UNATCO as the perpetrator of terrorism, an idea as shocking as it is reprehensible. Other organizations such as the self-proclaimed Revolutionary National Success Secessionist Forces NSF in the US claim allegiance to the meme war but are in fact no better than common criminals. They desire territory and wealth at the expense of society at large. Their civil war is merely a smokescreen for criminal activity. Any population can be quickly turned against such revolutionaries simply by educating them about the UN's policies and goals. Joseph Manderley, Director, UNATCO. Terrorism. Threat profiling. Symbolic attacks. The Statue of Liberty bombing. The desecration of the Soviet War Memorial in Berlin. The department store shooting. Sprees on Orchard Road in Singapore are the recourse of the weak. They serve only to call attention to a group or cause that is of no more than marginal interest to the public. But what distinguishes true terroristic, terrorist activity is its gradual escalation towards genuine acts of war. Fringe groups now have access to technology that allows direct assaults on governments, including the classic trio of nuclear, biological, or chemical weaponry NBC. But aside from direct assaults on a nation and its people, indirect attacks can cause considerable collateral damage. Rogue software can disrupt financial markets, communications, and military operations, while encryption programs allow terrorists to coordinate smuggling operations in secret right over the net. Drugs, guns, illegal immigrants, and even heavy equipment such as armored vehicles and cruise missiles are routinely traded, routinely traded across borders, aided and abetted by such software. UNATCO, the force organization with the technology, manpower, and authority to cope with such threats, is an idea that is long overdue. Joseph Manderley, Director of UNATCO. Know your enemy, NSF. The National Secessionist Forces, NSF, remain a very real and increasingly widespread terrorist threat. Ten years ago, in response to the Sporting Weapons Act of 2042, splinter groups from nearly every state militia refused to surrender the rifles, grenades, landmines, and other collectibles prohibited by the act. Unified under the charismatic leadership of Leon Woods, these isolated fanatics ev eventually formed the NSF with Woods, assuming the rank of general. Their intended goal, the liberation of Washington, Montana, Oregon, and Northern California. While Woods died during his infamous last stand in 2045, his war machine continues what can only be termed an occupation of the United States, aided by an encrypted network designed by dissident computer scientists from San Francisco and Seattle. Currently, the UNATCO Cryptography Division has had minimal success in cracking their communications, requiring more direct intelligence gathering techniques to be utilized. The UN has declared war on the NSF. Know Your Enemy Silhouette Famous for inserting 20th century style commercials into the net broadcast of the World Cup in 2050, Silhouette favors feats of spectacle over violence. Printed circuits, part of this nutritious breakfast, the announcer told children in one of the World Cup commercials. You ain't mech till you eat mech. A mech boy chews a memory chip. Boys who eat organics get stomped by their posthuman classmates. Mech boys in UNATCO helmets and metal boots take turns kicking another boy. Despite their numerous pranks, these intellectuals, artists, and labor organizers pose a serious threat. They are well armed and have been linked to the, to the murders of numerous European politicians and journalists. They will not hesitate to use lethal force. Know your enemy, the Triads. UNATCO's surveillance of Hong Kong is currently a high priority given the renewed threat of Chinese organized crime in the form of the Triads. Despite being a model of prosperity and technological leadership for decades, Hong Kong persists as a haven for organized crime. The Triads, naming the Luminous Path and Red Arrow, vie for control of the 10 trillion credit shipping business, much of which supplies Greater Asia with pirated technology, illegal drugs, and weapons. Most disturbing of all, the triads peach an ethic of techno-piracy that has found enthusiastic support among, sh among small sh shopkeepers and businessmen <laughs> wow, I can't read, who often aid the gangsters and buy their bootlegged software. Blech. Gullible and greedy, this army of middlemen remain insensitive to how their violations of intellectual property and copyright laws damage the global information economy. Know your enemy, other threats. UNATCO operatives have identified over 1,250 terrorist organizations active in the world today, some too small to currently present a serious threat, but all eager to see one or more governments topple. Groups such as the Templars in Europe and X-51 East uh, Western U.S. will be dealt with in subsequent volumes of Know Your en Enemy. 
Interesting. So basically, it's making the terrorists sound like they have no purpose whatsoever except to actually cause harm to the infrastructure of our government. And making the UN and other places sound like they are in the right. I don't like that bias. And we can't really hear what's on television. Okay. I don't really like Joseph Menderley all that much. I don't trust him. Good work out there, Mr. Denton. Mr. Manderley said you handled yourself nicely. Welcome to UNATCO HQ. Our little family keeps getting bigger. Is Mr. Manderley available? Yes, go right in. By the way, your computer account is ready. Log in JCD, password Bionic Man. Alex already told me. Thanks. He's waiting, JC. Okay. No one key. Unaco Closet Key Code added to Nano Ring Key. Or Nano Key Ring. That's a book. Unaco and the police. In carrying out their duties, Unaco agents often work with other law enforcement agencies. We remain a small elite organization. Until our ranks expand, we must rely on the cooperation of local police governments, intelligence agencies, and corporate security divisions. Always be courteous when requesting information or filing an extradition request. As our jurisdiction widens, we will inevitably experience conflicts with some local officials. Do not resort to unnecessary intimidation in these situations and report any problems to the appropriate UNACO liaison. Above all, an international law enforcement body requires the respect and support of all participating nations. Okay, that's... I like that. Can I have your soda? You'll behave like a professional. That's an order. No. I'm going to drink your soda right in front of your face. That's enough, Agent. Project Dybbuk. Overview. Domination 5F clearance only. The noted failure of previous attempts to create a low-profile rotary aircraft involved the acquisition and reach retrofitting of available military hardware that had neither the range ceiling nor electromagnetic transparency. To avoid numerous eyewitness accounts or unauthorized military interactions, in addition to exacerbating public misconceptions about government operation, governmental operations, such encounters also jeopardize several key missions. Project Dybbuk has was initiated to address this issue through the creation of a stealth aircraft that could be used as a platform for a number of mission objectives. Interesting. Reporting for duty, sir. The man himself, splendid. Do you accept my apologies about the situation, Topside? A refreshing change from the Academy, sir. Don't despise training, my boy. Even you would be worthless without the shaping touch of drills and studies. So the NSF took a shipment of the Ambrosia vaccine? Give me a chopper and a pilot and I'll handle it. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Yes, indeed. But we're having your brother head up the recovery team. You'll work with Agent Anna Navarra. Why don't we meet when you've seen Jaime for a medical checkup and received your equipment from Sam Carter? You'll be briefed at that time. Yes, sir. So apparently it's pronounced Jaime. Interesting. I wonder what the switch does. I'm uh, I'm not going to find out yet because he's here. The med center and armory are on level three. Okay. Uh... Boot camp for Betty, APR Portland, Madison High School Junior. I've got work to do. Betty Souza will spend the semester at the Canyon City Boot Camp, say school officials. The crime? We have verified that she told another student that she knows how to make a bomb, said Principal Martin Gordley. Come back when you've seen Carter and Reyes. Be quiet. What makes this case notable is that the parents have filed a lawsuit against the school district. Our daughter wears black, said Father Brandon Souza in a prepared statement. She has an exceptional jack, and we let her use I've it to play games. To do. Shut up. We allowed her to get a tattoo when she turns 16, but none of this makes her a criminal. The parents claim that Betty was discussing a novel by Tom Robbins, taught at, or Robbins, my bad, taught Come at Madison. When you've seen Shut Carter up. And Reyes. Taught at Madison High when the mention of explosives occurred. 
Betty Susan will not be alone in Canyon City. Last year, 15,234 young people served sentences in the state's FBI-run Good Behavior Camps. Scissor and Shot up. Level three. A Legacy of the Northwest War. Wow. And I thought nowadays was ridiculous. Ginatko in the future. I've got work to do. Shut up. As science progresses at an ever-increasing rate, more and more advanced technology is finding its way into the hands of the common criminal, resulting in a deadly threat to life and property throughout the world. While it is impractical to restrict the free flow of information already present in the public sector, UNATCO is committed to ensuring that this threat does not go unaddressed. Even now, UNATCO research and development employs some of the most Come talented scientists shut up. Scientific minds in the world to develop proprietary technologies and absolute security for field use by our agents, including such innovations as the bleh and bleh, or the life saving bleh. Come back when you've seen Carter and Reyes. Shut up. Under no circumstances should agents discuss any piece of equipment or technique currently employed by UNATCO. Agents operating contrary to this directive will face immediate disciplinary action. The Med Center and Army. Ah, level three. Be quiet. Within our laboratories lies not just the future of law enforcement, but a safe, secure future for all of mankind. Document filter per UNACO Terror Monitoring Act, blah de blah de blah. I've got work to do. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, a candy bar. Hope you don't mind if I use your urinal. Whoops. The Med Center and Armory are on level 3. Goodbye. You've got to see Carter and Reyes before Mandalay can brief you. Okay. Alright, is there anything in this cardboard box? Nope. Okay. That was completely useless. Is there any... Well, okay. I guess I'm not reading that. Or opening it. Okay, so my password was JCD and Bionic Man. J Ray's Greeting and Nanotech Briefings. Uh, from to subject Greeting and Nanotech Briefings. Hi, Invalidation X145. Guess I'll have to get used to, to calling you JC around the office. Not sure where they came up with that, but at least they gave you the same last code name as your brother. Anyways, whatever they're calling you, it's good to see a familiar name on the roster. My first job here has been to read up on your augmentations. I'm beginning to see why you found classes so easy. Every neuron in your head has been augmented. Dang. For example, the voice in your head from an operator somewhere here, somewhere in, bleh, someone here at HQ able to handle the scanning equipment in your skull and broadcast device over your info link, leaps fully formed right into your temporal lobe, bypassing the eardrum and its sensory neurons. And it's perfectly inaudible to everyone around you, of course. Not to mention that the nanites clinging to your axons can both receive and transmit symbolic information. So if you ever need help, don't sweat it. Someone at HQ probably already knows. Come by if you want to hear more. This is some great stuff. Hi, me. J. Ray's Nano Augmentation and You. I was asked by the regional medical coordinator to forward this information to all of you. I do so without further comment. Dr. Ray's. Is that Ray's or Reyes? I think it's Ray's, but I'm. I don't know. By now you've heard about the upcoming transition to nano-augmentation. It's coming, but not as soon as you think. UNATCO is only one nano-augmented agent, with a second just now graduating from the academy. It will be years before the program leaves the laboratory. Your mechanical augmentations are not obsolete. Some agents express concern that they will be walking junk within 10 years. One agent expressed their fears in an anonymous email, saying, We'll be sold at flea markets. Old gray golems are scaring the children. So what about my legs? What about my life? Keep some perspective. Prosthetics remain the only proven technology for enhancing human abilities. Those who make the sacrifice are appreciated, commended, and saluted as heroes. Okay. Uh, from Med Directorate. Subject Nano Augmentation Stressors. Whoops. Nano augmented agents will often encounter stress created by resentment among fellow agents, particularly those who have been mechanically augmented. In an effort to secure freedom and liberty for those under their protection, many UNATCO agents have chosen to sacrifice social acceptance for mission performance by surgically replacing limbs and organs with mechanically or electronically enhanced equivalents. But your nano augmentations point the way to the future. Thousands of microscopic living organic machines that exist in symbiosis with your body. 
Because such augmentations create only minimal disfigurement, they are likely to be a source of friction between you and other mechanically augmented agents. But it is important to understand that UNATCO is an, un is an organization where individuals must act in concert. Each is important to the whole, and mutual understanding is essential to teams comprised of diverse human and augmented agents. If you have any further questions or wish to discuss these issues, please feel free to send an email to Carver Eschel's UNATCO. Dot four three five two dot six seven six eight to make an appointment and welcome to UNATCO agent. Huh. Well, we already knew about the discontent. It's locked. Hmm. Okay, that's Joseph Mandoli's office. That's locked. Do I have any more lock picks by chance? I have one. All right, let's go check that one Bet door. Oh, I guess. Try that trick again. Didn't know the NSF had so many. Had so many what? Whatever. All right, are they looking? That guy's looking. I don't want him. I don't want him looking. He's gonna walk over here. Thanks a lot, guys. Where are you gonna go? Awesome. Ooh, we got a multi-tool. Nice. And a basketball. I don't really need that. Let's grab this lockpick. What's this? The trophy cup, okay. Just, uh. Oops. Come on. Get in there. Darn it. There we go. Alright, hopefully, whoever's office this is won't notice. 